Hej och välkommen till min kanal. Yes, if you read the title, it's correct. I have decided to live in a box. Well, not this cardboard box, but pretty similar. Uh, the reasoning behind it is I want to make a temporary solution over the winter uh, and build a box with the same size, same uh, dimension as the, the Stealth RV. So I can have the opportunity to pre-test everything before I... We can, we, let's call it version 1.0. The, the design and the ideas and the uh, products I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use in the box first and then I can, if they are good, I can transform it to the RV and if they are bad, I can change it. So I have two, more or less two different versions going on at the same time. So what I will do is build a box of, without uh, significant structure, since it's in the heated shed, <laughs> Since it's in the unheated shed, I need it to be warm, but it doesn't need wind protection or snow protection or, or rain protection and so forth. So it will be insulated, but it's very crude, uh, very spartan, uh, very simple so solution. Two parallel projects at the same time. Uh, and I actually think that's going to speed up the process. Uh, so let me know in the comments, is this a reasonable challenge or have I gone batshit crazy? And as you know, winter in Sweden can be quite tough. Minus 20 and uh, a meter of snow is nothing unusual. Then we have the problem with the polar bears running around here and, and causing mayhem. When I, when I tell people about the project, I'm often asked if I just can't buy a new RV. And well, I could do that, but a new RV or a new caravan is like, for me, it's like living in a hotel room. It's nicely equipped and it's, it, it could work, but only for a short period of time, like a couple of months. Then I'm, uh, I would feel like it's not my place. So why then, why couldn't I then uh, buy a used RV and uh, renovate it? But then the, the platform wouldn't be uh, good enough uh, or too much compromises in what I could find. So for me, the only option is uh, to go to a box truck conversion. Uh, if you have a... a, a the steely, then you have the, the curved walls and you have uh, not enough space, uh, I would feel cramped. So a box truck conversion uh, is uh, the best solution for me. And I have looked long and hard for the, the, the right truck. And one of the biggest reason I want to go for a box truck conversion is the stealth aspect of this, the whole project. Uh, going with a, a exterior that is as plain standard box truck you can uh, think of. White, basic, no windows, no nothing. Uh, makes it, in my eyes, the, the ultimate stealth vehicle. You can park it in the woods, you can go boondocking or if you are at a campsite or you can park it in the, the city center and it won't be uh, seen as an RV. It will blend into the environment and also a, a safety or a, a security uh, reasons. Uh, if I have a, a plain looking box truck without graphics or anything it's not interesting so it will less likely be a break in or uh, some some kind of interference if it's 
plain looking standard track. It's not as uh, interesting. Since I'm going for an extended period of time, uh, I want to have a secure home base. I want to feel safe and uh, uh, protected inside my, my home on wheels. Uh, and I will make another video with the selection process, uh, what my specific goals are. In this video I want to explain the, the layout. If you start in the back, I want to keep the, the folding platform, the lifting platform, because that's going to be like a balcony. Uh, and also the, the way, the entrance into the, the track. So we have the, the back door, uh, the only accessible way into the track will be through the lift gate uh, and into the back door. And I also have the the opening for the, my garage with the electric bikes and, and other stuff uh, under the raised bed. And since I'm an engineer, I base my layout on, on how much usage the various areas will get. So for me, it's a fixed bed is a necessity. I don't want a, a Murphy bed or, or something I need to make every day because you spend a third of your a third of your time in the bed like eight hours or something so a fixed bed is a must and then when we go into the truck to the left I have a, a waist high cabin and to my right I have a huge desk where I can work and also eat that's also a fixed part of the track, no folding table, so I want a very sturdy, uh, big and sturdy table. And then uh, at the front of the track we have the, to the left it's the combined shower and toilet, and then uh, at the absolute front of the, the box track you have the kitchen. So that's the basic layout of the track, and I will go into further depth about how everything is arranged uh, in another video but this is the, the basic of the layout uh, I'm building the box in the exact same way so I have this, the same layout and then I can test out the ergonomics and if it's uh, too wide or, or I need to change anything so I can live with, with this layout uh, and try it in real life and when I need to change anything, I can do that more easily or we get a better result in the final box truck built. So, finally, if you are interested in this content and want to see more, since I'm a new, quite new channel, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe and comment and help me grow. My plan is to closely show the build of this conversion and uh, please join me for the ride.